American Medical Review is a national platform where science and art meet, where improving and preserving health and wellness takes center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the healers and innovators. These editorial profiles presented on national television single out advancements in medical treatments, procedures, and services. For Life Research was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to promoting progress in the field of health and medicine. The immune system. While most of us know what its purpose is, not everyone knows what makes it tick. The blueprint is intricate, but at the core of its success is a simple messenger molecule known as transfer factor. It's our immune system that generates a unique kind of memory from exposure to a microbe, be it natural exposure in the case of like chicken box, or in the case of artificial exposure of a vaccine. Immune memory is generated such that when that agent or disease comes along again, our immune response says, hey, I remember you, and mounts a very effective you know, counter response. There is a transfer of that memory in the colostrum, or the very first secretion from the mammary gland, the transfer of immune memory from the mother to the newborn that gives the newborn the benefit of that memory. Because the immune system relies on its limited memory bank, many of today's modern illnesses can present health challenges. In an effort to increase that memory capacity, scientists have been able to isolate the transfer factor molecule and place it in capsule form as a supplement. The nutritional sources of transfer factor include both cow colostrum and chicken eggs. The transfer factor molecule within the colostrum or the chicken egg is material that is not species specific, meaning that it would be useful no matter what the species was that provided it or the species that used it. It's a primitive part of the immune system that is not restricted in any way. The other materials found in the crude colostrum or the crude egg are specific to those organisms, and so we separate these materials, allowing us to obtain the transfer factor in its pure form. The research that we and others are doing uh, to enhance immune performance or immune ability, I think is central to uh, longevity and quality of life. Uh, we know that uh, diseases like cancer or is a, mis a malfunction of the immune system. And so any supplement or nutrient that we can identify that improves immune function is going to improve the quality and longevity of our lives. The immune system's network is one of many that supports our body's operations. As researchers work to increase its threshold, we may find it easier to cope with some of life's ailments. Transfer factor molecule has been shown to be equally effective whether it's injected as it was historically or taken orally. And that was a very critical thing for us because we are very focused on what is effective, not just what holds the hype and, uh, and can be uh, created in some kind of a marketing scheme, but it has to have the scientific basis and, and the validity associated with it. That's part of our role and part of our commitment to the consumer is to provide those things that are truly effective, that are substantial. Uh, by science as well as by experience. Wherever the art of medicine is love, there also is love of humanity. Once again, American Medical Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's health and wellness challenges. This has been a presentation of WJMK.